<laughs> hope you enjoyed the creepy intro so this is my asylum experimental patient look I got the influences from American Horror Story didn't really have a plan for this look we kind of just went with it but here I am applying latex and kitchen roll onto my model's mouth um, I repeated this three times, so you do a layer of latex, then the tissue, and then latex over the top, and then dry it with a hairdryer. So here I'm just mixing different foundations. It's really hard to get an exact match because the tissue absorbs all the foundation, so it isn't always exact, but by mixing foundations you can get as close as possible. So now, very carefully, you need to try and cut. There probably is an easier way to do this. I don't know, this is just how I cut it. Um, but keep checking with your model that it's safe to cut before you cut, and just slowly work your way through. So now I'm cutting up a dish sponge, and I'm just cutting that in half, and then I'm gonna be picking it out of the sponge, just so I can create a textured sponge to use with the face paints. using different skin tone paints that I think would give the ill effect that I was after and as you can see I'm just blotching that on with the sponge I'm just rubbing it all in with some tissue I like to do this so that you can blend it in more so it's not so precise and it gives a really good effect I'm just gonna black out the lips so you can't see them So for the sewn effect, I just snip some holes into the latex and then thread some thread through and I just do that along the whole mouth and then tie a knot at the front. So I didn't have the best angle for the camera for this, but I wanted to create like a scar um, because I want him to look like he's been through the wars. He's been tortured and he's got the scrapes and wounds to prove it. And I'm just blending the latex in with the skin a bit more. So I'm going in with blood because if you're going to sew someone's mouth up, there's going to be a lot of blood. So I wanted to do some teeth that have been put into his mouth in the experiments. So I've got some false nails and just pop them in under the latex and I'm just painting them to make them a little bit more worn and dirty. And let's give him a black eye. So I'm using some yarn here and I'm just putting that on with latex to look like veins, bloodshot under the skin. And then I'm just gonna paint some dark red around the lines to give it more of a bruised effect. Now I'm just going to go around with yellow just to make it more of a bruised look. I love how this bit turned out. I've never worked with yarn before to make this sort of style of look, but I really think it turned out really cool. And now I'm just going to give him some bags under his eyes because being tortured you will not have slapped and especially in an asylum with all the crazy people shouting throughout the night. So I wanted to give him some bags to make it look like he hasn't slept. And I just wrapped a bandage around his head and I'm just making the bandage a bit dirty. And now I'm adding blood around the mouth. Now I'm just going to add blood to all the other features, so the scar and our bruise that we have to make it look like it's been cut open a bit. So 
So with a stippling sponge, I'm just going back over to make dripping bits and splatters. And I'm gonna put some blood under the bandage because I want it to look like he has a head wound as well. So I'm just making sure that it's dripping down. And to pull the whole look together now, I'm just going to make the t-shirt dirty. This is an old t-shirt, so we just put on some eyeshadow to rough it up a bit so it looks like it's been dragged around and blood splatters all over it. And the look turned out really effective. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I think it is super creepy and scary.